So Luke Keekley spoke on K. Adam's show today. And overall wise, he has some very positive things to say about us, even though we lost yesterday. Let me go ahead and play this, and I'm going to give my thoughts and opinions after. I got to cover half the screen for you know why. Let's go, boys. How worried, how worried are you? I think you, you look at what the Bengals have been the past couple of years. They've struggled to start the last why? couple of years. They've been 0-2, 1-3. That's it. You know what? I'm not sure. Yeah. You know, T. Higgins doesn't play. Jamar Chase misses a majority of training camp. They didn't score in the first half of the game. They had a couple turnovers. They let the they let the Patriots run the ball out at the end of the game. They kicked, they punted. The Patriots get the ball on the plus side of the two minute warning, and then that last first down by Ramondre Stevenson, he just willed himself to a first down, and took and they took a knee. But I think, you know, I grew up in Cincinnati. I know what the mm -hmm. fans are like in Cincinnati. The one positive in Cincinnati is the confidence that Joe Burrow has. He has confidence in himself. He has confidence in confidence in Zach Taylor. He has confidence in his guys on the offensive side of the ball. So yeah, they start, they start slow. You'd love for them to kind of figure that out. But as long as you got him back there, you have a chance to win. T comes back. Jamar gets a little bit more, you know, in football shape. You can say what you want until you go out there and you run and you cut and you have a guy's leaning on you. It's a different game once the ball gets snapped versus just being in off field off season shape. So I love the Bengals. I, like I said, I'm from there. As long as you have Joe Burrow, the confidence that he has and what he can do in his team and that organization, it's a disappointing start at home, but I think they're going to be okay. Yeah, and I agree. I think we will be absolutely okay for the long haul because, yes, we do have Joe Burrow. Um, but I think he also does bring up a really good point of off-season shape versus playing. When you don't play the preseason, you don't get any snaps in the preseason. Well, guess what? You're not going to be ready for the regular season. That's just kind of how it works. So now, as always, we're in the regular season, week one, week two, and we're playing catch-up to everyone else because everyone else already had got to play the preseason. I mean, Patty Mahomes, what? First game in the preseason, he played uh, one quarter. Second game, he played a half. We didn't get that. So because we didn't get that, we have Trent Brown, who never played for us, by the way, until maybe, what, one drive in the preseason? And even then, I, it, I think it was Amari Smiths who started. So first time ever playing for us in, a, in an actual game, in a week one game. And he struggled greatly. And a lot of the reasons why I feel like it's because it's brand new. It's a brand new team, brand new everything. So... Yeah, I again, like I said, I'm very confident for the rest of the season. I really am. One game does not define you. One game does not change you. It sucks that we have to play the Chiefs right after this, where it's like when we already are down and kicked and out and just getting crapped on. Now we have to go play the Kansas City Chiefs, who are the best team in football. Um, it sucks, but I'm not worried for this team, as I've said many times, in the long run. I'm worried right now because I think we need to handle it a lot different than we're handling it currently. For example, Chase, they asked him yesterday, why did he only get six catches? Why did they only throw the ball six times to him? And instead of, you know, answering it the way I feel like you should, which is like, you know, hey, at the end of the day, they play great defense. You know, our offense just wasn't gelling. It is what it is. You know, we tried our best. Instead, he was Jamar Chase about it, and he said, go ask Zach. And that's a problem. You know, you can't have that. Because when you say go ask Zach, what you're doing is you're pinning a narrative that Zach Taylor's against you. And Zach Taylor is not giving you targets because of what you did in the offseason. So I, I don't like that. I really hated that response from Chase. And I know Chase is very honest. He's himself. This is how he is. But when you say stuff like that, it paints a narrative that Zach's against you. And the team's against you. You didn't get targets. Why didn't you get targets? Well, because clearly they have a grudge against me. They don't want me to have the ball. Instead of it, hey, the game flow wasn't working out. You know, I we tried. Obviously, I was open. But it did, didn't work out. Don't put blame or point blame toward a coach. Because once you do that, you're pinning narratives. And then you're going to have a whole bunch of more issues and problems. And we don't need that. So we're going to be fine 100% because, yes, we do have number nine. But you have to 
especially during this adversity right now, you have to come together and we have to all be on the same page. We gotta realize what's wrong, realize what the matter is and fix it. We can't be pointing fingers, we can't be doing this out of the third because that's just gonna cause us to fall farther and farther into a pit. And it's very easy for a team to fall apart when you know situations like this are happening. But at the end of the day, we play the Chiefs week two. And if we can beat them, which I said in my last video, I think the Chiefs will, I, I said, chances are we're gonna lose to the Chiefs, okay? I think we can win. I truly do believe we can win. But if I'm being a realist right now, which I'm trying to be because it is what it is at the end of the day, the Chiefs are a great team. There's a good chance they're going to beat us. But it doesn't mean there's a 100% chance. Right now, I would say there's like a 70-30% chance they beat us. Before, you know, our struggles, it was probably 60-40 us. But it doesn't mean we can't beat them. We absolutely can and it would be a humongous win for this season if we can get that job done. And I'm very excited to see us get that job done. But again, we have to figure out these issues. We have, we can't go back and forth and play, you know, Russian roulette, as they would say, with these issues. So I do agree with Luke, and I appraise Luke for that because thank you so much for everyone who's talking negative about us, everyone who's crapping all over us. You know, it's nice to see somebody in some analyst type of role actually say something positive about us because it's very easy to dunk on us right now and I get it you know hey listen we lost to the Patriots it is what it is at the end of the day but at the same time you know we we do this every year we suck early on I don't know why well I know why actually I said no I know why it's because we don't play preseason so we end up in the same situations where our guys are not ready our guys are you know, trying to play catch up to the season and it ends up becoming a mess. But until Zach decides that he wants to play preseason, it's going to be forever like this. We just have to adapt and we have to get better and kind of grow from the situation we're in right now. But you know what? I think we will. I fully have support or fully have faith that we will and we will be fine, guys. It's a long season. Uh, keep in mind, we do have the third easiest schedule. If we had the schedule we had last year, I would say, oh, it's going to be tough. But even last year, look at last year when we had a tough schedule. We still were able to overcome all the setbacks and issues and problems. And we went 9-8, and eight, even without Joe Burrow, and almost made the playoffs. So, again, this team is one thing you got to give this team is we are very resilient. And no matter what we're put against us, no matter what we go through, we find a way to get it done. And that's a winning mentality, and that's how we play. So just because we're going through a tough spot right now doesn't mean anything for, long, for the long term. We will be fine, and we will be back. So the rest of your league, get your shot in right now because you won't be doing this all season long. Trust me, Houday, Houday is coming back. This time with a vengeance. Let's go. Who they?